Hello, Eon here. Unlike a lot of my past videos, and this one is probably going to be fairly similar to the Batman Brave and the Bold video I made a while back. In other words, it's a discussion video, so I'm not really going to be getting too angry or amped up about anything in this one. <laughs> well, this one is the first in a series that I'm going to be doing over the month of December. Might as well start right now, since uh, December's coming up fairly quickly here. This is the beginning of a series of videos that I'm personally dubbing Total Drama Month. And these are going to be leading up to the premiere of the fourth season. In each of the videos, I'm pretty much going to be discussing different factors of season three, maybe something from seasons one or two. It's going to vary from week to week, and what I personally think of them, what my opinion is, pretty much just a discussion video, like the uh, Batman Brave and the Bold thing. The topic of the very first video is actually going to be a character dissection. In other words, what I think of a particular character on Total Drama. The question I pose in this particular video is the character Alejandro a Gary Stu or a borderline Gary Stu? This is probably quite a tentative topic for me to try to tackle, considering uh, what's happened with some videos in the past, but I'm going to handle this one a lot better than the previous case. The technical definition of a Mary Sue or Gary Stu at that, Gary Stu being the male equivalent, Mary Sue's may be well known, but I think the definition of them is pretty universal for both Mary Sue's and Gary Stu's. The definition of either one is a character who is idealistic, lacking flaws, an over-idealized self-insertion of a player, and that is more in regards to RPG games or something like that, but it can also refer to fan fiction, unrealistic, or characterized by several cliched, archetypal personality traits. Now, before I really tackle this any further, I believe it is possible for an official character in a story, movie, or cartoon at that to possibly be a Mary Sue or Gary Stu. Whether it be a personal idealized version of the author or just being the culmination of those traits put together into one character. I'd say the best example I can say of this, and Mary Sue being an actual fiction, would be Bella Swan from Stephanie Meyer's Twilight series. I'm not saying everybody unanimously agrees on this, or that it's a solid, concrete fact, but the evidence is against Bella. As a matter of fact, I'll probably link to a couple of articles in the description box below, citing what, why people might think that she's a Mary Sue, or why they think that case. This video isn't about Bella Swan, I was just citing her as an example. Moving on from there, why I personally think Alejandro could be considered a Gary Stu is because of some of the things he's done over the course of Season 3. The evidence that really sort of leans toward him possibly being considered a Gary Stu, well, starting off, he is idealized as a quote-unquote Mr. Perfect. And examples of this would be that pretty much every female contestant on the show falls for him almost immediately. In some cases, it's attraction or infatuation, but they all practically fall for him immediately, with the exception of only two characters out of the entire cast, those being Gwen and Sierra. Izzy could possibly be a tentative case, too, but considering there were a couple of scenes where she seemed to be running up to Alejandro, I think there was at least a slight crush on him on her part. And typically in fan fiction, when there's a Gary Stu involved, or even just a Mary Sue, pretty much every member of the opposite gender, maybe even the same gender, falls for them right away. They are instantly captivated by them in some way, shape, or form. And that character pretty much has a center spotlight on themselves. They're pretty much the uh, man or woman of everyone's dreams. There's only one character that hates this character. Pretty much, they've got all the, all the other characters wrapped around their finger. I guess you could say that this is close to calling Alejandro Gary Stu, but his saving grace is the fact that uh, Gwen and Sierra do not fall for him right away. In a fan fiction involving a Gary Stu, if he were written in a fan fiction, those two probably would have fallen for him too. 
And then there's the fact that even though he attracts and flirts with all the women on the show, and actually gets together with Bridget and Lashana, albeit for a brief amount of time, they do get over their feelings for him after he pretty much uses them for what he was using them for in the game. And after that, the infatuation is gone. I guess you could say that uh, Alejandro's seduction technique could be comparable to Justin's Mesmero effect, where when he talked to one of the female contestants, or just looked at him, they were so entranced by his good looks, quote-unquote, that they'd practically do anything. He pretty much had him under a hypnosis. And that's what Alejandro's seduction is similar to, and if Justin can still be a well-defined, well-rounded character with possessing the Mesmero trait, then Alejandro kind of has a free pass, too. The next topic I'm going to tackle, this is probably going to be a bit more difficult and arguing that this isn't necessarily a Gary Stu trait, because even I'm a bit dumbfounded and still kind of at a loss to explain this particular one. What I'm talking about is the fact that he seems to pick up or reveal a new talent of his every other episode of Season 3. Some examples of what he's capable of, in the episode where they went to Greece, he was showed that he had a lot of flexibility that he could walk on his hands. And then another episode he revealed that he could play the accordion. I guess you could say that he has somewhat of a singing ability. In the episode where they went to Japan, he shows that he can speak a little bit of Japanese. I'm not sure if that can count as him being trilingual or not. And he also knows how to hypnotize people. He's very deceptive, manipulative. He can juggle, too. In other words, in every other episode, he said that he had some sort of super duper special ability, and there's some explanation given to some of them, but others, they just come completely out of nowhere. What makes this kind of unbelievable is that with the other characters in the series, you only see, see them having one or two special talents. Gwen, for example, it was revealed that she can draw. And then you have Cody, who's very good with technology, Bridget and Jeff, surfers. Harold, he's the only other character that could come close to Alejandro in his repertoire of talents, but even he has a limit on what he can do. Alejandro, on the other hand, there doesn't seem to be anything stopping the number of things he's capable of, or really any sign of his definable weaknesses. In other words, when compared to the other characters, yeah. He doesn't have much going for him. Whereas some characters may only have two or three special talents. He has at least five, six, or seven. To start arguing this case, the trilingual thing, that's kind of an iffy scenario. It, I'm not entirely sure whether he knows the entire Japanese language, but as for him knowing fluent English and Spanish, I think that can be uh, argued for. Since his father's a diplomat, and I'm fairly certain that he comes from a Spanish-speaking country, it is highly possible that he grew up speaking both Spanish and English in the home. As for some of the other things, he revealed that he learned such talents and abilities from relatives, such as the hypnotism thing. He learned that from his uncle Julio, apparently. And then the whole juggling thing. He claimed that he was in a circus at a very young age, so maybe he practices juggling every day. Those two can be accounted for, and I guess the instrument thing can too. Maybe he practices playing the accordion every day. At least they didn't have him playing at least six or seven different instruments on the show, because, well, until we see a character that's an actual virtuoso in music, I'm not buying that, a char that any of the characters can play more than maybe one or two instruments. Trent is the closest I can see to being the uh, musical talent on the show, or the most talented in music on the show, and it's been shown that his main instrument is a guitar. So, I guess we saw the extent of Alejandro's abilities in Season 3. As long as no more are introduced, I guess you could say that he's a jack-of-all-trades to some extent. There are such things as characters like that. It just seems sort of iffy in total drama, considering he's probably the first to have an ability like this. Or to have a status like that. I guess you could say Harold is close to having a status like that too, but 
Hale, Harold has an excuse or explanation for every talent he brings up. Alejandro, on the other hand, not so much. The walking on the hands and flexibility thing, that required a certain